Lots to unpack today. I work with a lot of brands to help them visually identify themselves and create branded content. But what do we mean when we say the word brand? Let me break it down for you. <clears throat> this was bordering on the edge of being boring, so I thought I'd come in and spice it up a little bit. Oh no, I'm good, but thank you so much. Yeah, it's okay, I'll stay. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so let's start with what a brand is not. It's spoiler alert, pew, pew, pew. it is not a logo. Rude me is right, it's not a logo or any other visually identifying marker. A brand is a feeling that a product or service or company gives you. Like, I love Converse. They make me feel super nostalgic and edgy. Did you know that they make a knockoff brand of Converse that's like half the price? I did, and no thank you. Why not? It's half the price and it looks almost exactly the same. Because I don't know that brand. They could fall apart in a day and I like Converse and you know them when you see them. Aha, which brings me to my next point. Converse has become a charismatic brand for her, meaning it's a brand for which there is no other substitute. So she trusts them, she won't even buy a competing brand, and it's become kind of like her identity. I see what you did there. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> so Converse has brilliantly merged strategy and design to evoke trust in their consumer. Here's a visual. So while branding is the feeling a product gives you, logos, websites, Instagrams, etc., are the tools that help portray the feeling you'd like to instill in your consumer. Remember, aesthetics are the language of feeling, and if you want to have a great product and are consistent with your aesthetics, you will gain trust from your consumer. If you want to see more on aesthetics, click the link down in the description. All right, enough self-promotion. Can we wrap this up? I got stuff to do. Oh, you're free to go at any time. Um, everyone would have been snoozing without me, so you're welcome, and wrap it up. Fine. A few last thoughts to leave you with. We are living in a society that is information rich and time poor. So people are buying solely from the way something makes them feel and less through research. And because we are in such an overly saturated market, it is important to focus on your brand and differentiate yourself from competitors. You can do this by pinpointing your answers to these three questions. Who are you? What do you do? Why does it matter? A lot of the concepts and information talked about today came from this book, The Brand Gap by Marty Neumeyer. Super great book, quick read, tons of priceless information and concepts. Oh, they got pictures in here. That too. Oops, that's my oobs, I'm out of here. Oh, bye Felicia. Don't say that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, this was super fun. If you have any questions, comments, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like these. Stay creative, I will see you Tuesday.